Okay, so I've got this older BMW platform and I wanted to just quickly make a short video explaining what I've run into. You won't get many of these platforms coming in and in order to scan them you have to go under the hood and go through the 20 pin connector with an adapter to plug in your interface. If there is an OBD inside the car and a 20 pin you have to go in here if you want to go into factory mode. The problem I ran into was I was scanning it the other day and I couldn't get any communication in which then I told the customer that we needed to diagnose a no communication problem first before we can go any further with the check engine lights and um, shifting issues that they're complaining about. And so today I went in to try to scan and start diagnosing a bus communication problem and it actually started to scan. I did an automatic identification and it actually pulled up the VIN number correctly so I was surprised to have communication. But I'll show you what I ran into. So I'll hit auto scan and this is the IM608, it's the one I've been using here lately. And you can see that when it cycles through and it doesn't populate a list, it means it's reaching out to scan them, but it's either not finding them because it's not equipped or because they're not communicating. And so it'll just go to the next one, next one, next one. So this is kind of what I ran into the other week. And I'll go ahead and pause this. And without cycling the key or anything. I'll show you what I found. So I am plugging in the top don and by the way, this is not mine. A friend of mine came by and asked if I wanted to check it out. And of course I said yes. And because I was getting some communication, some not, uh, this was acting funny. I decided to go and reach for this one and see what this would do. So we'll start, hit okay. Okay, so it's gonna connect to the interface so it'll start communicating and we'll just do an automatic just like I did with that and see what it pulls up okay so it's identified the vehicle correctly and we'll hit next. And looks like it's finished identifying the modules. And so it populates this topology of the modules. And from here we'll do an actual scan and see if it scans. Unlike this guy. And there you go it is actually scanning every module so far without a problem now Autel has been on and off with even actual communication as you can tell right now I'm not earlier I was able to get a scan but the problem that I ran into which is why I grabbed this one mainly was this was pulling the list of modules and it would not pull up the transmission control unit which is something that I wanted to look at and when I powered this one up connected it and it made this tree and it had the TCM listed and on top of that it scanned it and it found faults that's when I was extremely surprised that this couldn't even pull up 
the transmission module when it communicated, if it communicated, and this one always communicated, and when it does, it pulls up the trans module all the time when this one never did. So again, not to play anyone down or anything, but I am extremely surprised that this newer platform out of these guys here, and, and this one acts the same way as this, I'm surprised that the newer one works and works well and just right on an older platform that you almost wouldn't expect to see. So again, nothing too crazy. It's just something I wanted to sort of point out that this situation can get you in trouble and blaming the car, a no comm situation. Imagine what kind of rabbit hole I could have gone down if I never knew that it was a scanner problem. Luckily, I had that here to try and now I need to figure out what I'm going to do, but just wanted to make this to let you guys know to be aware of situations like that.